Hey everybody. In the subsequent video, I make an omission and I shouldn't have. And in my mind, I didn't when I was filming it, but I, I watched it back and it's not going to make a whole lot of sense or it's going to be very deceiving if you don't listen to what I'm about to tell you. So we're going to talk about existence and uniqueness of solutions to differential equations at initial values. And what I'm going to say many times in this video is that continuity does not exist at endpoints. That is not true. Continuity of a function can exist at an endpoint if we consider one-sided limits. So when you're watching this video and I make those statements, here's what I mean. I don't say it and that is my fault, but here's what I mean. What I mean is that when we consider these points that we're checking, an initial value, a point, we need to consider continuity on an open interval around that point. And that's due to differentiability since we're talking about differential equations. So when I say that continuity does not exist at an endpoint, here's what I meant to say, here's what I mean to say, and here's what I never made clear in the video, and so I'm telling you right now. So when I get there and I say continuity does not exist at the endpoint, what I mean is if the initial value that we are checking happens at the end point of an interval of continuity, if there's an end point, there's not enough room for an open interval, a neighborhood to be around it. So this is, that was my mistake. I did not make that very clear in the video. So I'm telling you right now, when I say that continuity doesn't exist at an end point, what I mean is considering the initial value that we're checking, that initial value cannot be at an endpoint because there's not enough of a neighborhood to consider continuity. So for this, for this particular video, continuity needs to be an open idea. I say that many times, but I never tell you it's only for this idea. It's only for checking whether we have continuity around a point, a neighborhood of a, an initial value that we are checking. So one more time in the video you're about to watch, I say many times continuity can't exist at an endpoint. Not true for functions in general, but for the purposes of this video, what we need is for continuity to be an open interval. We need an open interval of continuity around the point we're checking, and that means that for intervals of continuity, if that point we're checking is at an endpoint, we can't create that open interval. So I hope that makes it clear. Again, I apologize if the Next part of the video just doesn't make sense. Come back and watch this again because continuity can exist at endpoints with one side limits, but for the purposes of differentiability and for the purposes of checking for existence and uniqueness, we must have an open interval of continuity around the initial value that we are checking. And what that means is that we cannot, cannot let that initial value occur at an endpoint. And that's what I mean by continuity does not exist at an endpoint is if that point that we're checking is an endpoint, then we don't have an open interval of continuity around it. I hope that makes sense. Um, enjoy the video and let me know if you get it.